so it's official, Thunderfoot has left the sceptic community and it's kind of funny because I had a literally I did this video only f what a couple of months ago now literally saying um, why I'm fed up with the anti-SJW channels and in that video I literally said look these guys aren't making good arguments anymore they aren't really going after sort of the cream and making you know good arguments it's more about uh, point scoring and you know poking fun it's not about having a good argument and there are very few channels that are doing that anymore so here you have and then you've had the whole um you know murder that went on and there you have guys and I've watched the full stream, by the way, and Thunderfoot's right. They sit there and go, ah, make a joke about a dead girl. Make a joke about a dead girl. Make a joke about the murderer. Should we really be doing this? Should we really be doing this? I don't know. Another joke. Another joke. Should we really be doing this? I don't know. Is it all right? No. Should we joke? <laughs> and that's, that's literally how it goes. And... I wouldn't even consider myself a member of this community because I think the idea of the sceptic community was a, a weird um, idea anyway. I think it was just an excuse uh, because the SJW started calling themselves a community so they decided, oh well we have to have our own name to describe us. And as I said back in you know my Thunderfoot versus Spinosaurus video, people there is a schism happening, and Thunderfoot's right. This schism is starting to happen. You have got extremists now starting to form, where, you know, sod it, anything goes, doesn't matter. And now you have, you know, the moderate sides of, well, okay, I think we should start talking and engaging with, you know, feminists and other people who don't necessarily share our views, but let's have a talk with them and let's see if we can reach some common ground and, you know, let's have a talk and change some minds. That seems to be, you know, the moderate side and the middle ground. And then you've got, you know, now this extreme faction with, who seems to be led by Sargon, who seems fighting, yeah, we're going to fight a culture war. Um, It's redundant because if you go out into real life, people are just like, what? <laughs> You know, do it if you want to prove that this really isn't a, a problem. Basically, do what I call an internet detox. Turn off Facebook. You know, don't go on YouTube, um, Twitter, or anything like that for a month, and just see how much you seem to care about it afterwards. You don't, basically. Um, and yeah, this is this you know the schism has already happened. Um, you know, Thund you know, Thunderfoot said in his video, "Oh, I think there's a schism coming." It's already happened. Um, and, you know, and lines are being drawn in the you know the the tribalistic you know, stand sands, and he's right. It is because you now get the situation of where Thunderfoot makes a video doing the exact same thing. Uh, he did to Sargon, pointing it, you know, pointing out the thing, you know, the the him making his pointing out the stuff in the video to use to make his arguments. If it's not Sargon, say like an East Circassian, or uh, in his you know science videos where he's you know criticizing you know solar roadways, uh, he recently did one against the university. Oh, that's perfectly fine, but. When it's Sargon, oh no, you know we can't, you know, can't touch that because you know apparently people have put on this, you know, in this community have put him on a pedestal. And I've, I've mentioned before, I fell out with Sargon um, last year and I haven't been subscribed to him for a while. But you know, this is this is it. This is the schism that has happened, and now there's going to be a, you know. 
a fight between possibly those two. And I'll tell you now, the moderate side, when things like this happen, always win and always tend to stick around a lot longer. Um, that's the way it goes. Um, I'll just have fun and watch from the sidelines. <laughs> but, yeah, so... As I said, people, don't believe the hype on this, you know? Um... You know, I've, I've gone to the stage now where I did three videos against Tommy Robinson, literally saying, look, he's hiding behind a legitimate criticism of Islam to try and spread fear and anger. And now people who, again, are part of the sceptical community decide that, you know, I am some sort of um, apologist or, you know, to quote one person, a uh, Islamic, sorry, an Arab toe, toe sucker. Um, so yeah, the community isn't necessarily um, as golden as people like to think. Unfortunately, there has been this, you know, to quote Sargon, shit lording, um, and basically it's. You know, what's the the Batman quote? Uh, when, you know, when do you become, you know, a, a shitlord, you know? Uh, do you do you die a shitlord or do you live long, yourself, live long yourself enough to become a shitlord? And that's the level that some of these people have got to. Now, Bering, I really don't like Bering. I think his channel's awful. But... He actually stayed away in it and made some good cogent points about this and why you shouldn't be using it for political point scoring. He's right. He's 100% right on that. And bravo for bearing for doing that, which was, I was quite surprised because I thought he would be one of the main culprits using this, but he didn't, which I was quite surprised about. So bravo bearing for doing that. So what do you think about this schism that's happened? Um, I think it's not going to be a big deal. Like I say, I've I've got nothing, I've got no game in this horse. You know, I've got less than, you know, 500 subscribers. But I've never been bothered about being, you know, YouTube famous. This, for me, is all about, this channel's been, basically from the very start, all about me uh, improving my public speaking ability and being able to think off the top of my head and be able to talk um, to use that to be able to use this skill to be able to go out and do professional public speaking like this to to win things like this um, so that's been my my goal of my, my channel now it's great that I have people um subscribe to me and you know who like to some hear what I have to say that's you know that's great you know but I don't care if I have you know a thousand or one subscriber I would still continue making the videos that I want to make on my channel for that reason uh, I monetize them I get you know little to no money from it but you know what um Every six months, I get about 60 quid. That's great. That's a night out for me. Blinding. I'm not going to, you know, suddenly set up a Patreon because it's not my main job, this. You know, I will never be um, my main job. My main job at the moment is helping people to develop their YouTube channels and things like that. So, um, at the moment... What not? I really don't care. You know, I am a, a professional editor, and you know, me doing this straight to camera. Yeah, I could edit my videos and make them a thousand times better, but I just don't want to. You know, I'm fine doing this the way it is. So that's the um, you know the the skeptical community. The way I see it, the schism's already happened, um, and I think you're now going to see, shall we say, even more battle lines drawn, uh, alliances start to form, or alliances that were in place start to break. I wouldn't be surprised if you started to see some people break away with Sargon, or 
come close to Sargon, you know. Um, needless to say, it will be funny to document, to say the least. So, let the wars begin, ladies and gentlemen, because the battle cry has been sounded on the kazoo. And if I had one, I'd blow it, but <laughs> never mind. <laughs>